Today we'll be taking a look at another Tonkin Replicas model, this, the 966K in 1 to 50 scale. The model does come in a plain outer shipping carpet, as you would come to expect from Caterpillar, which houses your typical black and yellow Caterpillar box. Once you open it, it does house a collector card with a nice picture of the real machine, and on the reverse side, some stats about the loader, such as it having an operating weight of just over 53,000 pounds and a 267 horsepower motor. Getting the model out of the box is pretty easy, but the plastic formers really tend to get stuck in the, uh, in the box, so you do have to get a fair bit of effort to get this out. But once out, you just pull apart the sides and lift the model straight out, and there she is. So, going over this model, it is uh, optically very similar to the 972K that was also previously reviewed on this channel. The only difference is, and I'll actually bring out the 972 in a second, um, but the only differences, of course, are the 966K graphics and uh, the smaller counterweight. But in reality, the real machine would have a little bit smaller bucket on the 966 and uh, obviously a little bit larger bucket on the 972. In terms of model functionality, it is good. The dump height is reasonable. As you can see, I have a uh, first gear Kenworth dump truck here, and it will clear the side of it and dump into it without an issue. However, the dump angle of the bucket is a bit shallow and could have been better, but if you have loose material, it's still enough to empty it completely. Taking a closer look at the machine, again, it does achieve a very good cut angle. And if you can see right here, see if I can point this out, right here is a small pin um, that if you want to, you can remove the bucket. Again, very similar to the 972K. However, you will scrape the paint off the end of the pin. Tires have a nice aggressive tread pattern on them. The articulation is good. So you can set this machine uh, working in a, at an angle without an issue. All of the grab rails are metal. However, the grab rail on top of the cab that goes around it is plastic. There is an antenna on the roof that's skinny enough to look convincing to scale. And as you would come to expect from Tonkin, there are small warning labels all over this machine, including right here and right here. The stairs to access the operator's cab are plastic. On the back, you have a nice crisp cat logo, a nice grill, some textured surfacing up here, and uh, some nice lights and a non-functioning tow hitch that's just there for looks. So I told you I would compare the 966 to the 972. Here is the 966 over here, and here is the 972. If we'll put them end to end, really the only difference that you'll know, aside from the graphics, is... The 972 has a larger counterweight, as you can see right here, and this is the 962s. This is actually a little bit difficult. Anyway, there's the end of the 966, and there's the 972 with obviously a little bit bigger counterweight that, uh, of course, you would have for your little bit bigger bucket, bucket size. But in reality, the buckets on these two machines, as far as the models go, are uh, identical. So the 966 was offered in uh, the obviously the standard 966, which is right here, but also the 966KXE, which is your advanced drivetrain version. And uh, that version actually comes with a black bucket. The newer ones do. Um, so that one's kind of a worthwhile inclusion in your collection. But really, again, the only difference is the graphics and the different color bucket. But overall, these are a pair of really nice loaders from Tonkin Replicas. So if you're looking to add a newer medium range cat loader to your collection and you want something that uh, has a lot of functionality and detail, these two models can be highly recommended for that. So as always, guys, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.